subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video Welcome to Jail KTS lecture we are in lecture number 25 of continuous time system here we are going to actually discuss about forced response basically in the previous video lecture we actually got into natural response now in this video lecture we'll get into the forced response and the next video lecture that will be the summation of complete uh, the summation of natural and forced response so forced response means zero state response now let's take this example 5 into dy by dt 10 yt is equals to 2 xt where your input xt is nothing but 2 ut and we need to find out the forced response for this case and that is that is nothing but y zst that is your zero state response and the solution would be something like uh zero state zero state response is actually nothing but your homogeneous uh, response or homogeneous solution and particular sol solution but with constant evaluated in the constant that are generated from this forced response thing that will be evaluated in the zero, zero in initial condition then only we can take the uh, summation of homogeneous and particular solutions summation to get the zero state response or forced response now let's do each and every uh solution uh very carefully first first we'll take this homogeneous solution then we'll go for the particular solution then uh we'll sum this both of this uh solution to get the zero state response we'll add these two solutions with the constants which will going to be evaluated in zero in initial condition because the only difference that we know in case of in in the previous video lecture we saw na in case of zero state response it is different from zero input response forced response is different from natural response because it doesn't have any initial stored energy it doesn't have any initial आउटपुट और इट डजेंट हैव एनी इनिशियल कंडीशन जैसे नेचुरल रिस्पॉन्स का इनिशियल कंडीशन था उसके लिए इनिशियल स्टोर्ड एनर्जी वैल्यू था बट वी डोंट हैव इन केस ऑफ फोर्स रिस्पॉन्स वी डोंट हैव एनी इनिशियल कंडीशन वी डोंट हैव एनी वी हैव जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन सो द कॉन्स्टेंट दैट यू नीड टू इवेल्युएट हियर द होमोजीनियस एंड पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन के केस में जो कॉन्स्टेंट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू इवेल्युएट दैट कॉन्स्टेंट विल बी इवेल्युएटेड विथ जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन नाउ लेट्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स फर्स्ट इवेल्युएट द होमोजीनियस part look here carefully to find out the homogeneous part we know this is your equation and to get homogeneous part we know homogeneous uh, solution homogeneous solution will be calculated by making input is zero by taking input is zero you can write it down this equation as 5 into d plus 10 equals to 0 5d plus 10 equals to 0 where d is came out to be minus 2 and your homogeneous solution will nothing but equals to c into e to the power minus 2t because minus 2 that is what your uh d ka value nikla now for particular solution just be careful with this thing because we are taking assumption in the very initial case in particular solution what we are going to do we are going to take input value because particular solution is only different the particular solution ko kaise define kiya jata hai because particular solution is the solution homogeneous solution is the solution when input is zero particular solution is the solution when input has some specific value so here we are we do consider about the input value so input value is 2 ut it is given in the question 2 ut it is given okay it is given that is xt is equals to 2 ut okay xt is 2 ut given now let the particular solution is ypt i took particular solution is nothing but ypt ypt equals to k into xt isko hum logo ne assumption liya let ओके के इंटू एक्स टी के इंटू एक्स टी रिमेंबर वी टूक दिस एजम्पन पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन इज इक्वल्स टू के इंटू एक्स 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 इंटू टी वेर एक्स टी इज नथिंग बट टू इंटू यू टी इट इज गिवेन टू इंटू यू टी नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ के वंस वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो वाई वाई पी टी इज नथिंग बट के इंटू टू इंटू यू ऑफ टी ना वंस वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ के वंस वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ के वी कैन फाइंड आउट द पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन ओके नाउ हाउ टू गेट दिस वैल्यू now this k into 2 into ut we need to put this value here in this equation okay that's it it's that simple okay now if you put this value in that equation you need to find out d by dt of y pt that will be nothing but k into 2 into del t so del t kahan se aaya ar ut ka differentiation del t hai na oh so you need to find you need to 
just you take this value and you take this value and do put this value in the main equation if you do this if you if you do this you'll get if you do in this if you put this value in this equation you'll get 5 into 2 into k into del t plus 10 into 2 into k into u of t equals to 2 into t into u t now here if you solve this you'll get this kind of equation you'll get this kind of equation look here carefully you'll get this kind of equation now at t equals to 1 if you put t equals to 1 if you put t equals to 1 you'll get 10k del of 1 plus 20k u of 1 equals to 4 into u of 1 by hi uh, my dear friend look here carefully del of 1 is 0 because del is on uh, del function is only defined impulse function is only defined delta function is only defined at t equals to 0 uh, we know from the definition at uh, any other value of t del of t will give you the value 0 so this expression will give you 0 value and this expression will give you 20k because this value is 1 because u of 1 is 1 no whatever the value you take u of t to unit impulse hota hai na? Uh, sorry um, uh, unit step hota hai na? so it will give you 1 so 20k equals to 4 so k we got here 1 by 5 k we got here 1 by 5 so yp ka value kya tha we took the yp ka consideration yp kya tha na yp is equals to particular solution is equal to k into x of t yehi isko hum log assumption diya tha so here we got k equals to 1 by 5 so if you put 1 by 5 so you'll get yp is equals to 2 by 5 into u of t 2 by 5 into u of t that is 1 by 5 into x of t hua na this is the value that we got and x of t is given as 1 by 5 into 2 into ut na? x of t is given this so you'll get y of pt is nothing but 2 by 5 ut so we got the value we got the homogeneous solution we got the homogeneous solution that is c into e to the power minus 2t and also we got here particular solution that is 2 by 5 into u of t and the simple mathematics that forced response forced response can only be calculated zero state response will only be calculated later if you add your homogeneous solution with a particular solution but with a constant the constant the constant the constants it must be evaluated with zero initial condition now let me let, let me solve this equation look here carefully so y of z s of t can be written as i'm sorry y of z s t can be written as y h t y h t was given as c into e to the power minus 2t plus ypt what we have got what we got in case of ypt ypt we got 2 by 5 into ut correct now we need to find out the zero state response by putting zero initial condition so since so at t equals to 0 so y of z is of 0 is equals to if you put a 0 so it will be c plus if you put a 0 so 2 by 5 into u of 0 so what is the 2 by 5 what is the u of 0 u of 0 is 1 sir so we can remove this so c plus 2 by 5 c plus 2 by 5 equals to y of z is plus 0 now this point is very important yehi wale point mein maximum student confuse hote hain so what we are going to do here for zero state response for forced set response to 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 tell you this point abhi jo point mein aapko bolne wala hu na to tell you this point i did a lot of nataks ye sare jo bhi drama mein sare derivation likha hai na aapke samne yahi point bolne ke liye bola tha so kya hai ye point how it is different from normal complete solution a point may aapko kya karna hai y z is of 0 we got c plus 2 by 5 yes or no at t equals to 0 so it is saying ki find the zero state response or forced response and when the constants are evaluated with the zero initial output condition zero initial output condition output is 0 initial condition 0 hai there is no stored energy in initial condition in case of forced response that is why the response will be forced it will not come out to be natural because yahan pe koi bhi condition nahi initial condition and sub zero hai. so yahan pe that is why at t equals to zero y z s of zero will be will be zero understood this pin because always remember forced response or zero state response always calculated at t equals to zero that will be y of y of z s of zero will be zero 
दिस इज द कंडीशन ये कंडीशन आपको आखिर में पुट करना है सो so, तो फिर हम लोग क्या मिला c प्लस टू बाई फाइव इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स सी इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू बाई फाइव क्लियर है ये पॉइंट क्लियर विद दिस पॉइंट सो वी गॉट सी इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू फाइव तो यहीं पे टर्निंग पॉइंट था दैट वाई ऑफ जेड ऑफ एस योर जीरो जीरो स्टेट रिस्पॉन्स एट टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एट टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एट टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट इज जीरो सो वंस यू गेट सी इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू बाई फाइव सो वाई वाई जेड एस वो योर वाई जेड एस टी योर फोर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्स विल बी टू बाई फाइव माइनस टू बाई फाइव सो यू नीड टू पुट दिस वैल्यू हियर माइनस टू बाई फाइव इंटू ई टू दावर माइनस टू टी प्लस टू बाई फाइव इंटू यू ऑफ टी दिस इज योर आंसर पुट दिस वैल्यू हियर इन दिस इक्वेशन क्लियर ए पॉइंट सो दिस इज योर जीरो स्टेट रेस्पॉन्स कितनी सिंपल है ना बहुत सिंपल है मस्ट वॉच आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वेयर वील गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द कम्प्लीट रेस्पॉन्स एंड वी विल डू दिस इवेल्युएशन कि हाउ दिस कम्प्लीट रेस्पॉन्स थ्रू जीरो स्टेट रेस्पॉन्स आई डोंट थिंक इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर यू टू डू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई डोंट थिंक बट स्टिल आई आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू पुट इट अगेन फॉर यू so that there we will going to analyze ki how it is different from the summation of homogeneous and particular solution samajh rahe ho na main kya bol raha hu dekho normally hum log ka complete solution kaise nikalta hai y h t plus y p t aur hum logon ne ek yahan pe signal system mein hum logon ne sikha y z s t zero state response plus zero input response so the, ye dono equal hai actually ये दोनों इक्वल है ये दोनों इक्वल है ये दोनों ये आंसर इक्वल आएगा लेकिन ये जो प्रोसेस है ये प्रोसेस इज डिफरेंट सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम हुज सल्यूशन विल बी पहले हम होमोजीनियस निकालेंगे फिर पर्टिकुलर निकालेंगे फिर दोनों को मिक्स करके सॉरी ऐड करके विल फाइंड द कम्प्लीट सल्यूशन विल चेक करेंगे कि, कि इसका आंसर क्या आया सर क्या आया हाँ क्या आया ना तो नेक्स्ट हम फिर ये मेथड में करेंगे कि हम लोग उसका जीरो स्टेट रिस्पॉन्स करेंगे जीरो इनपुट रिस्पॉन्स करेंगे और इन दोनों को मिलाएंगे और देखेंगे कि ये भी वही क्या आता है अगर ये ये इस कैट का नाम चुन्नी है है नो सो ये कैट भी वही चुन्नी वाली कैट ही आती है दोनों सेम होंगे ठीक है दोनों सेम ही कम्प्लीट सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन तो एक ही होता है ना हर एक क्वेश्चन का क्लियर दिस पॉइंट सो मस्ट वॉच आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल जेल गेट ये लेक्चर थैंक यू सो मच बाय